<laughs> of course. The second this video is about to get ready to upload, Godfall wants to post a brand new one. So I'll be leaving that new trailer that they dropped today at the very end of this video. So stay tuned to that if you want to check it out. I didn't want to just redo this whole video just to add it in. So I'll be dropping the new video that dropped today going over one of their new weapons or the main weapons that they've been showing off in just about everything called the Eclipse at the very end of this video. So stay tuned to the end if you want to check that out. Other than that, let's hop straight into this video. What is up YouTube? It is Doki or Doki Style Gaming and I'm back at it with a very late Godfall video uh, but I'm back with one nonetheless. I did have a couple videos planned. Actually, I actually had two videos planned prior to this one and then I had a video planned last week because Godfall did post a brand new video on their Twitter and YouTube page but with all the stuff that's been going on right now I didn't feel like last week was really the time to be posting anything personally to me so that's why i didn't but with playstation 5 postponing and now re i guess doing their event that's going to be happening this thursday the future of gaming you know and godfall is a playstation exclusive and now ugh, another exclusive which i'll cover a bit more in this video i did want to at least cover some of the stuff that's has been released up until now because potentially we'll be getting some brand new footage or just information on the game come this Thursday and then I'll have new videos for all the new information that we got coming then. So uh, let's just hop straight into it because there's about eight different posts about a, I guess an excerpt from some book in the Godfall universe. And then there's a new trailer that came out that's pretty much going over the characters that you'll get to play in the Godfall universe. First, we're gonna go over the excerpts from this book. They're kind of in really weird orders. I'm assuming it's intentional because they're trying to keep things a mystery, but there's, I'm gonna read them in the order that they were released. But as I'm reading them, you'll kind of see that they're in different orders. Like one is book two, then the next Next post was a book six, four, there's like two book 12s. It's weird. And then they're like from different, I guess, books themselves. So it, it's, it's all sorts of weird, but let's just hop into the very first one, which I'm assuming canonically is the start of this book in the Godfall universe. So the first excerpt from the book is called The History of Aperion, which I believe is the world that everything in the Godfall universe takes place. So it starts by saying, Cosmera made the world when she devoured herself. The Archons were her dreams and they dreamt hungrily of existence. There was nothing to satisfy the hunger but her own flesh. From the ruins of Cosmera's body, the Archons stepped forth into existence. And this was the first excerpt called The History of Aperion. Now the next page in the book is called The Fall of the Archons, book one. And it says, we Valorians were their first designs. All 12 Archons collaborated to craft us forms that they would eventually use. We also believe that they made us in their image, but they would ultimately make themselves too well in ours. The Fall of Archons, book one. Now the Valorians, at least from what we know so far, are the armor-like entities that we'll be able to play as. They said that there's gonna be Valor plates, hence the Valor and the word Valorians, or Valorians, I'm not sure how it's officially pronounced, but I'm assuming we'll find out pretty soon. But each character that you'll unlock, you'll unlock via a Valor plate, and they are essentially what these Valorians are, if I'm not mistaken. Now the next page is called The Fall of the Archons, book two. And it says, the people of Aperion had misunderstood the Archon's nature. They should have stayed as gods of ideal. When they spun themselves physical shapes, incarnating themselves into the physical realm, they became trapped by the sins of mortality. Fall of the Archons, book two. So I'm assuming, just from what we've gathered so far, I'm assuming these Archons potentially are gonna be the big bads of the game. And with there being Valor plates in the game that we essentially use, they talked about crafting them. So I don't know if they're going to be essentially after our Valor plates or just the Valor plates in general and we have to stop them from getting them because maybe they'll become immortal again. But again, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Let's hop into the next page, which is called The Upheaval Book 6, which, yeah, we went from The Fall of Archon Book 2 to The Upheaval Book 6. It's like I said, they're weird. 
But the page does say, Overcome by mortal anger, jealousy, and ambition, the Archons quarreled among themselves. It is said that when kings quarrel, they argue using armies. We Valorians were made by the Archons to be their armies. And so, with little choice, we argued. The Upheaval, Book 6. So again, we're kind of getting a sense of what the Valorians or these Valor Plates were used for. And again, we don't know yet what their main purpose is going to be in the game, but I'm assuming the Archons are after them. I'm just kind of curious to see how many there's going to be. Now this next page is The Fall of Archon Book 4. We completely skipped 3 and we're on Book 4 apparently. But the page says, with Valorians as their great armies, each Archon, according to their nature and their hunger, be it conquest or be it mercy for the conquered made war, we did not know how deeply Cosmera's hunger had chewed into our souls. And then we would learn. Fall of the Archons, book four. So again, this is getting kind of deep. Next page. The Archon's unwavering belief in their own perfection would doom us if we continued to follow them. They had to be stopped. We could not allow them to corrode our attempts to build a true civilization. The Upheaval, Book 8. So yeah, I think that's where we're going. If the Valor Plates aren't necessarily what the Archons are after, they at least want to stop us or the people who possess them because clearly they're the things that can stop them is what I'm taking from this. Now this next page or next two pages I should say are kind of weird because they're both titled The Upheaval Book 12 but they're two different statements or paragraphs on each of the pages. So I'm going to read the first one in the order that they were released May 21st or 27th. The other one was May 29th. The first one from The Upheaval Book 12 says... It did not escape us that the Archons never worked together. It would be difficult for one of us to take on an Archon and win. But unlike them, we were not alone. Even if they could not work together, we Valorians could. The Upheaval, Book 12, or Book 12 Part 1. Now the next page starts by saying, which again, Upheaval Book 12, but we'll just call it Book 12 Part 2. The price in blood was high, but we had done it. All 12 of the Archons were sent screaming back to the realm of dreams and spirits. Now the real work could be done, we could build a true society. The Upheaval Book 12. So again, what I'm getting from it at least is that the Archons will probably find its way back or their way back to the normal world or Apirian and they're probably going to want some revenge and they're going to be after anybody who probably potentially has a Valor Plates or just the Valorians in general. I'm assuming that's the gist of the story is Archons are pissed, they want revenge, we gotta stop them or send them back to their realm because they've somehow managed to break free and they're causing a bunch of fucking chaos. Now there were some other story details that I covered in other videos as well for Godfall, like the, how the whole world is split into five different elements. Each element they said has like a certain obelisk on them. And again, I won't get too much into it because I covered it in a previous video. So if you want to find out more about the story, the world, the development, the fighting style mechanics, again, I cover that in multiple uh, Godfall videos prior to this one. But I'm assuming the general gist of the story is bad guys are back, they want revenge good guy stop him. Very broad term, but I'm assuming that's pretty much what it's going to be. Now, before I get into the new trailer that was dropped, we also did get some more information because I know people were commenting in my last Godfall video wondering if it was going to be an Xbox exclusive or be playable on Xbox and not exclusive because apparently it was a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Well, it's not a PlayStation 5 exclusive anymore. Technically, it'll be PlayStation and PC, but it's going to be an Epic Store exclusive. So if you want to be playing Godfall on your PC, you'll have to get it from the Epic Game Store. And for the people who just want to play it in general who are console players, you better be having a PS5. And again, we don't have any official release date for it yet, but I'm assuming we might get it this Thursday if PlayStation does announce when they plan on releasing it. But if we're being honest, we know what Sony's doing. 
They're just waiting Xbox out. They're waiting for Xbox to give us a release date and a price of their system just so that Sony could be like, all right, we're going to release it a week ahead of yours at like $50 less than yours. So uh, we still don't know when Godfall is going to come out. We just know that it's going to be a launch title for the PS5. So when the PS5 comes out, Godfall's coming out. Now on to the trailer that we got going over one of the Valorians or the Valor plates that you obtain in game. Or technically I, I want to say obtain because I believe this is one of the characters you can play with right off the bat. He's pretty much been their like icon that they've been using on a lot of posters. Let me just let y'all watch this trailer and then I'll be right back talking over some of the stuff that we saw in it. Each valor plate reflects a god. Through storm and furious battle, its powers will be yours. Ascend, Lionhearted, with silver mane. So we got at least one of the names of the characters we'll be able to start off playing with, which is Silvermane, or I assume. Again, we don't know much of anything from this game yet. We just know that it's going to be a looter slasher where you'll be able to pick power plates from the start. So I'm assuming this is one of the Valor plates because of how heavily he's been promoted on like everything. Whenever you go to their Twitter, he's front and center. You go to their official page, front and center. He's he's everywhere. So I'm assuming he's one, even on the trailer, but I'm assuming he's the main. But yeah, he's probably just gonna be the generic character in the game if I'm being real. And when I say generic, I don't mean like, ah, the bleh character, but if we're being real, most games have like the generic character, the more mystic character, the more aerial, high-flying, dynamic, flashy character. I mean, when you look at games like Destiny, you have your generic character, which is the Titan. And I know I just pissed off a bunch of Titan players, but let's be real, he's Master Chief. And then you have your Warlock, which is the more mystic type. You have your Hunter, that's all flashy, flippy. Then you have other games like Borderlands that have their different types. So I feel like he's going to be, again, I don't want to say generic and make it sound bad, but I feel like he's going to be like the all-rounder. When you look at Anthem, again, same thing. The Ranger was the all-rounder character. Then you had your more tankier one, which was the Colossus. You had your Mystic one, again. Like I said, that was the uh, Storm. Then you had your Interceptor, which was the flashy, dodgy character. So that's probably what Silvermane's going to be. But again, I'm just speculating. We won't know until hopefully this Thursday with the PS5 feature in gaming conference that'll be hosted. Also, with the PS5 Future of Gaming conference that they'll be doing, I will be streaming it on the channel as well because y'all know I'm all about my PlayStation life, so I can't wait to see what games are going to show off. And again, I'm pretty sure we'll see some more Godfall content because that's what they've been teasing. A bunch of other PlayStation exclusives, maybe some teases of some other games. But uh, again, we'll see come this Thursday. I will be streaming on the channel, so definitely stay tuned for that. So that's pretty much all I got for this video. And my God, I've been recording for for 26 minutes, knowing damn well this video will not be that long. I fuck up a lot of my recordings. All right, but I will be back again with another video for sure. Like I said, I'll be streaming the PlayStation conference and then potentially if we get some more Godfall content, I'll be posting any new information we get from both Twitter and their page, YouTube, wh whatever they post on. I'm following Counterplay, Godfalls, Twitter, all of them, some of the devs. So whatever information we get, you best believe it'll be on the channel whenever it comes out so thank you all for watching like always be sure to check out the playstation stream like i said i'll be streaming on youtube uh, i'm kind of done with twitch because twitch has just been whew, they've been real e thoughty lately and i want to avoid that platform <laughs> so i'll be streaming on tw on uh youtube from now on because twitch is just ugh, ugh. it's one of them sites so <laughs> i will catch y'all on the next stream fairly soon and then i will catch y'all in the next video which again should be even sooner so thank you all for watching like always links to all my social media accounts are in the video description and i'll be leaving time conversions for different times for people around the world for 
when the PlayStation live stream is going to start in their time zone. So be sure to check that out if you're wondering when I'll be streaming it. So thank you all for watching. Like always, I will catch y'all all on the next one. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. Peace. Forged of pure sun steel and cast in twilight. Crafted as the stars rise. Ascend with the celestial flame of Eclipse. That everything takes place in this uh, universe. But it says, calm. So what's happened to the first excerpt? Blah, blah, blah. And it starts by saying Cosmera was made. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Read what's wrote down, damn it. You got this. Now the <sighs> you know what? It's page. I'm just gonna say page. The next page of this book. <laughs> Fuck this <laughs> excerpt. Why do I, why do I keep trying to say excerpt? <sighs> Alright. <laughs> we had always believed that Medusa. Did I just say? What the f- Why? Why am I not reading this shit? Medusa? That they made- Oh my god, I am stupid. Alright. <coughs> the Archons quarreled among themselves. It is sad- And I will be streaming that on the channel as well, because again, I'm all about PlayStation. Sorry Xbox players, but fuck y'all system. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I don't know why I just said that. Ha <laughs> ha.